architecture really puts a lot of emphasis on durable materials, natural, etc. And uh, you know, Indiana limestone is accustomed to being here, and it's only you know a couple hundred miles away. And you know, that's that's the way you do it. You know, you figure out what's around, you figure out the resources that you have available to you, and then you utilize those. The idea is to show the arch in a in a two-part system. The part that you see here is the modern means of construction, which is you supply the stone fabrication company with drawings and they'll produce exactly what you ask for. The other idea is, since it is a Palladio conference, that I'm going to construct the other side of the arch in the same way that Palladio's masons would have done. Granted, it's a little easier for me since Bybee sawn the blocks into perfect cubes, but at the same time, I'm still gonna hand pitch all those so that they match what's here with hammers and chisels, the same way that it would be done in the 16th century. Went down to uh, the Bybee Stone Company, and um, we went over the drawings together. We made a couple design changes while we were down there, um, but I left that stone in very capable hands while I was down there, and I knew that when I got to the site here that it would be exactly the way I drew it. And it was, the stone's absolutely beautiful, so I'm really excited to work with what they've already given me. That's the way you do it. You know, you figure out what's around, you figure out the resources that you have available to you, and then you utilize those for it. And what that does is it creates an aesthetic that is um, synonymous with the area that you're building in. Unless the students actually realize where those materials come from, how they are extracted out of the ground, how they're cut down, um, you know, the efficient ways to transport them, where you get them, what's going to be durable in certain areas, it's really it's almost impossible to, to design a building unless you, you know, figure out where your sources come from. So that's kind of where it's kind of where I'm at is to try and help the students really understand what they're designing with. You know, it's kind of a neat neat area to be in. Construction is so diverse. In today's society, if you're creative, you can use that education. You can really make something out of it instead of just going the same path that everybody assumes you would go. The more you, out, you think outside the box, the more opportunities there are for you to be happy, do what you want. I've always been a firm believer in, you know, figuring out what I love and then figuring out how to make money doing it. As long as I'm in the architecture and construction field, I'm happy.